How much is salvation worth? What price can you put on eternity? Can one buy their way into heaven? These are questions that, once upon a time, were being answered with a price tag at PTL Jim and Tammy Faye Backer's Christian Empire that rose to prominence in the 1980s. But the path to eternal life took a dark turn, filled with scandals, betrayal, and greed that led to the collapse of PTL and their beloved Heritage USA. Today, we'll uncover how the rise and fall of this once powerful televangelist couple reshaped the American religious landscape and left behind a trail of questions about faith, fame, and fortune. Jim and Tammy Faye Backer began with what seemed like noble intentions. PTL Praise the Lord started as a humble Christian broadcasting network, sharing the message of faith and salvation to millions of viewers. Their passion for spreading the gospel led to the creation of Heritage USA, a theme park and resort aimed at providing Christian families with a wholesome getaway from the world's temptations. It wasn't just any destination, it quickly became the third largest theme park in America only behind the juggernauts of Disney World and Disneyland. How far is Heritage USA? We're looking for a nice, quiet campground. So hey dude, which way to Heritage USA? Yeah man, like I heard they're building like a water park, water slides, the whole bit. Gnarly man, so which way? Holy. Yo, partner, which way to Heritage USA? We're looking for the Heritage Grand Hotel. Little Philly Ropey and finally tied the knot pack. We heard the honeymoon suites were so romantic. No matter where you're from or what you like to do, if you're looking for fun, excitement, or just relaxation, ask somebody how to get to Heritage USA. USA? But as the backers' fame and wealth grew, their priorities began to shift. The spiritual mentors they once relied on were slowly pushed aside, making room for business opportunists who saw PTL and Heritage USA not as ministries, but as money-making machines. And as the lines between faith and finance blurred, the seeds of their eventual downfall were quietly planted. Behind the smiles, the brightly colored sets, and the prayers for blessings, PTL was hiding secrets. The scandal that first shook the foundation of the Backers' empire was Jim Backers' infamous encounter with a young church secretary named Jessica Hahn. It wasn't a random meeting. Hahn's introduction to Jim was orchestrated by others within PTL's inner circle. What was supposed to be a moment of temptation led to a $279,000 hush money settlement paid in secret to keep the scandal from erupting into public view. But like all secrets, this one couldn't stay buried for long. The fallout from Han's revelations shook PTL to its core, damaging not only Jim's credibility, but his marriage to Tammy Faye. Meanwhile, whispers of Tammy Faye's own alleged indiscretions began to surface. Rumors circulated that she had grown too close to an audio engineer at PTL, further deepening the cracks in the backer's public image. Though the claims were never fully substantiated, they added to the mounting pressure on the couple. Behind the curtain, PTL's finances were in shambles. The vice president of PTL had knowledge of mismanaged funds and questionable financial dealings, yet nothing was done to stop the train from speeding toward a crash. And then there were the Dorch brothers, the masterminds behind the $1,000 lifetime membership to Heritage USA. This scheme promised lifetime access to the resort and lodging at the luxurious Heritage Grand Hotel. Thousands of people bought in, eager for their Christian retreat in the heart of Heritage USA. But there was one major problem. Heritage USA couldn't support the promises it made. The memberships were oversold, and the money, rather than being reinvested back into PTL, was spent on personal items for Jim and Tammy Faye, and the rest disappeared into a maze of mismanagement. Enter Jerry Falwell Televangelist, moral leader, and at first glance, the backer's savior. Falwell arrived as an ally, promising to help Jim and Tammy Faye right the ship. He even asked them to provide a list of their needs to better understand how he could assist. But behind closed doors, Falwell had other plans. That list of needs, it became a weapon used against them. Falwell began a hostile takeover of PTL, stripping Jim and Tammy of control, all while further damaging their already crumbling reputations. The betrayal was swift, decisive, and devastating. As PTL's foundations crumbled, others within the ministry sought to save themselves. 
John Wesley Fletcher, once a close associate of Jim Backer, came forward with damaging claims, accusing Jim of having a homosexual affair with a staffer at PTO. These accusations, though never proven, only served to add fuel to the fire of PTL's destruction. Fletcher, it seems, was attempting to deflect the heat away from himself, throwing Jim further into the flames. After the fall of PTL, Jim and Tammy Faye went their separate ways. Jim, after serving time in prison, re-emerged on the television with his new wife, Laura Lee. Her striking resemblance to Tammy Faye, both in looks and in spirit, had her referred to as an upgraded version of the original. But instead of selling timeshares to Heritage USA, Jim now sells survival kits and food rations to prepare for the apocalypse of jealous scene this time, with a new wife, Laura Lee Bagger. Meanwhile, Tammy Faye found her own path. After divorcing Jim, she married Roe Messner, the man who had helped build Heritage USA. In her later years, Tammy became a surprising figure in reality television and the LGBTQ community. Her battle with colon cancer, however, would eventually take her life. In the years since, Tammy Faye has been immortalized in film and media, her larger-than-life persona captivating audiences once again. At its peak, Heritage USA was hailed as a Christian Disneyland, a wholesome destination for believers looking for family-friendly fun. But as the scandals piled up, the very thing that Jim and Tammy had built collapsed into dust. The promises made to those who invested in PTL were broken, and Heritage USA faded into nothing more than a memory. What happened to Jim and Tammy Faye Backer serves as a cautionary tale. Greed and lust for power can undo anyone, regardless of their status or calling. Theirs is a story of how the quest for more more money, more fame. Man now, a final word, put away your wallet, because we are not PTL. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. After all, we have no price tag on eternity here. As always, we leave you with this cautionary reminder. Once you enter the dark, you may never be the same. Please stay tuned for this amazing music video. Jim and Tammy Faye started out so pure Wanted to spread love, hope that they were sure Building a church to help those in need But soon got lost in their own greed Praise the Lord, turn it into pastor Lou. Money and fame, replacing what's true Gold-plated dreams, tarnished with lies Jim and Tommy Faye lost in their disguise TV screen shine with false promises bright Followers believe in the holy light But behind closed doors, a different tale Lust and greed causing their trail Praise the Lord, turn it into past the Lord. Money and fame, replacing what's true Gold-plated dreams, tarnished with lies Jim and Tommy Faye lost in their disguise TV screen shining with false promises bright Followers believing in the holy light But behind closed doors, a different tale Lust and greed causing their trail Praise the Lord, turn in to pass the loop Money and fame, replacing what's true Gold-plated dreams, tarnished for lies Jim and Tammy Faye lost in their disguise Temptation whispered in their ears Seduction, fear in the fears From humble beginnings They strayed so far Lost in the glare of their old star Praise the Lord, turn it into past the Lord Money and fame, replacing what's true Gold-plated dreams, tarnished with lies Jim and Tommy Faye lost in their disguise In the tale of Jim and Tommy Faye Remember the lesson, don't let greed lead the way